Code of Body Strength coming up today. So um, in terms of equipment, we do need um, one set. One set of dumbbell is needed. Um, two is always recommended. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of um, upper and lower body today. And um, we're going to work for 45 seconds, 15 seconds of rest slash transition time. And then we're going to do three rounds of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with the demos here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to be on the ground seated and we're going to do overhead presses from a seated position. So for this, um, I definitely, if we have a, a flatter set of dumbbells, definitely recommend that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that core is nice and tight. We're sitting up nice and tall, elbows slightly in, coming up and back down. So by coming to the ground, we have to engage our core a little bit more and we take our legs out of it. So we're going to use those shoulders a little bit more. So that's going to be our first um, movement. And then we're going to go ahead and lay down on the ground on our backs. We're going to do some glute bridges here. We're going to hold for four seconds at the top. So we're going to keep that cord tight. We're going to push the hips towards the ceiling. One, two, three, four. Back down, keeping that core nice and tight. Straight back up. One, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. So that's going to be our second movement. And then we're going to go ahead and stand up. And we're gonna do some bent over IYTs. So for this, we don't need any weights. Um, if you do have weights, you wanna use them. I definitely recommend like two pounds or lighter for this one, um, which I, oh, I could have grabbed them. That's okay. Um, I can always run out there in a second. So we're starting off, we're coming up overhead into an I and then into a Y and over into a T. So we want our thumbs up for the I and then thumbs up for the Y and then thumb down for the T. So those palms are facing behind us. So that's gonna work the shoulder as a whole, which is always good. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and move into reverse lunges. So for this one, since it is a lower body movement, we can grab some heavier weights if we'd like to, or you can stick with your other weights if you only have one, not a problem. And we're making our lunges harder today. So, um, we're going to step back into our reverse lunge here, and then we're going to hold for three seconds at the bottom and then push the ground away, stand back up. So we're coming back one, two, three, pushing through that front heel back to little toe, standing back up. So that's going to be our fourth movement. And then after that, we're going to do some around the world raises. So sticking with a lot, our lighter ones again for this upper body movement as well. We're going to come all the way up over and around and back down. So using those shoulders for using the shoulders here to pull up and then gently lowering them. If we come down too fast, we're not gonna feel that. So we wanna feel that really in the front, in the side and a little bit towards the back once we get past a certain move, uh, point there. So that's gonna be that. And then finally, we're gonna end with some dead bugs and we're gonna do our core assist here so we can have our dumbbells up above our shoulders and we're not holding at all. So we're just coming out and back and out and back. So if you would like to challenge yourself, move a little slower or go normally. So that's gonna be our whole circuit for today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up, and we're gonna start on the ground in a half kneeling position. And we're gonna do a little bit of hip flexor hamstring. So we're gonna go ahead, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glute, push those hips forward. Nice big deep belly breath. And we're gonna exhale, rock back, toes to the ceiling, chest towards the knee. And nice big deep breath. And we're exhaling, coming forward into our hip flexor. So squeeze the glute, push those hips forward, big deep breath and exhale, rock back. This is a good dynamic stretch to kind of warm up both our legs, deep breath, and we're exhaling last one. So squeeze the glute, push those hips forward, keeping that core tight. You can even raise the hand above head for a little extra and exhale, rock back, toes to the ceiling. Getting that nice hamstring stretch. And we can exhale and come out of that. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So other knee, other foot. Same checklist, butt to belly button, squeeze the glute, push those hips forward. And we're gonna exhale, rock back. Toes to the ceiling, chest towards the knee. 
And we're inhaling, going back to our hip flexor stretch. Squeeze that glute. Squeezing the glute really helps release the front of the hip. And exhale, rock back. And then nice stretch here. And one more. Squeeze the glute, push those hips forward. And also again, raise the hand above head if you'd like a little extra stretch here. And exhale, rock back, toes to ceiling. And we can go ahead and exhale and come out of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of plank to pike here, get our shoulders, core, and um, everything warmed up here. So in our plank position, we're gonna exhale, come up into our pike. We can even pedal those heels, stretch out the calves, get ready for our lunges here. Oh my goodness, mine are very tight today. And back to plank and pushing up into pike. And back to plank and pushing up into pike. And we can go ahead and walk our hands towards our feet. Can chill here for a second. Now we're gonna go ahead and stand on up. And we are ready to rock and roll. So starting off, we're seated on the ground, legs out in front, overhead presses, starting in three, two, one, and go. So again, choosing whichever weight we'd like to for this first one. I'm gonna choose my heavier weights here. So core is nice and tight. Our um, form is the same. So those elbows are staying just slightly below the shoulders at the bottom, pressing up, coming back down, making sure they're not touching each other, keeping that core engaged. So we're zipping up through the core. Our back is nice and flat. We're sitting up nice and tall. Again, this takes the legs out of it. So we're using more shoulders than we would if we were standing. Three, two, one. All right, great job. Those are definitely a little bit harder, which was the plan. All right, we got glute bridges next, laying on our backs, holding for four seconds at the top three, two, one. So tuck the pelvis, so butt to belly button pushing those hips up and then coming back down. So pressing through heel, big toe, little toe here, holding for one, two, three, four, and back down. Really making sure our feet are hip width apart. If they're too close or too wide, we're not gonna feel it as much as the glutes. Also making sure our feet are directly below our knees. And that's gonna help us again, finding a good spot. If our feet are out too far away from us, we're gonna feel it in our hamstrings. If they're too close, we're gonna feel it in the quad. So looking for that Goldilocks, just right foot placement to feel it in the glutes. Three, two, one. All right, standing on up, we got IYTs bent over. So again, if we wanna use weight, keeping it very light for this one. Three, two, one, so we're gonna tuck the pelvis, so butt to belly button, keep that core tight, close the door, coming up and an I and a Y and then a T. So really making sure we are squeezing through the shoulders. We wanna keep those shoulder blades are squeezing an orange the whole time. So our whole back is nice and flat. We also wanna be aware that our chest is above our hips. If we come down too far, that's gonna be all the low back there. So we wanna make sure chest is up just a little bit more than the bottom of a Romania deadlift. Switch in between the three, I and Y. Three, two, one. All right, next up we have reverse lunge. Holding for three seconds at the bottom. We can do this body weight as well today, three, two, one, whatever feels good for us. That's what I'd like you to do. So we're stepping back, knee over the second toe, push the ground away. So we're coming back, one, two, three, driving through the heel. The heel is what's gonna help us activate our glutes, keeping that chest over the arch of the front foot. If we're not feeling it in the glutes, I recommend taking a smaller step. And then also going nice and slow, picking that foot off the ground. So my right glute always 
activated less than the left for whatever reason, probably because I have tight hips. And so I go a little bit slower on my right side. Three, two, one. All right, next up, around the world raises, palms are gonna be out, squeezing that orange so our back is nice and flat. Three, two, one. So coming all the way up over our head and back down. So being mindful too, our arms are not directly out to the side. Arms are still slightly in front, just like with our presses, with lateral raises. The minute we have our arms all the way out, that's gonna put stress on the shoulder joints. We want slightly in front of the body. Core is nice and tight. Exhale as we come up, we only wanna use the shoulders. Great job. Focus here, three, two, one. All right, last movement here. We got dead bugs. Um, if you want to not do the core assist today, that's also a okay. Whatever feels good for you, as long as we're using the core. Three, two, and one. So pushing that belly button into the ground, knees over the hips. Exhale as we come in. We are zipping the core up. There's a string tied to the bottom of the zipper. And that is what's pulling the legs up. So if you're feeling it in your legs, you might not feel it as much right now, but definitely by the third set, your legs might get a little tired. That means we really need to focus. Exhale as we come up, zipping the core. Great job, three, two, one. All right, round one is done. We're starting at the top with our presses here. Switch into my lighter weight. We are seated, legs in front. Three, two, one. So again, you sitting like this is gonna take the legs out of it. So we're gonna use that core and our shoulders a little bit more. Really important here, we wanna keep our wrists nice and straight. I often see with the wrists bent like this, that takes, again, takes the shoulder out of the movement. So we wanna keep those wrists nice and flat, nice and straight, pressing all the way up and all the way down. Great job. Making sure we're not leaning back as we press up. That's using the momentum. Moving nice and slow. Great job. Three, two, one. All right. On to our glute bridges, four second hold at the top, feet staying hip width apart. If they're too close or too wide, not gonna feel it where we need to. Three, two, one. So butt to belly button, press through the ground, heel back to little toe, holding for four seconds and back down. Let me just get my feet a little closer. We really wanna feel it in the glutes. So if you're not sure if you are squeezing the glutes, go ahead, you can always play, um, Put your hand on the glutes, making sure they are engaged. Another way to make sure they're engaged is keeping that core tight and the pelvis tucked. It's gonna help us kind of keep that constant tension. I do not even bend my back as I go down. So that core is still engaged. The glutes are also still engaged. So that kind of helps us get a little bit more muscle recruitment here. Three, two, one. Awesome, all right. Standing back up, we got IYTs bent over. So again, feel free to um, have your lighter weight. Again, less than three pounds for that. Three, two, one. Sometimes if we do have a little bit of heavier weight for these ones, we are going to not use the muscles we need to be using. And I um, tend to see a lot more momentum be used. And even like for me right now, if I were to try and do five pounds, like, yeah, I could do it, but I probably am not going to feel so good while I'm doing it. So that's why I do prefer to do these body weight, because uh, that's going to really help us 
focus on that mind and muscle connection. I want to use the shoulders and then lift. Okay. So right now we're here. Shoulder blades are engaged, activated. We're lifting by squeezing through the backs of the shoulders. Three, two, one. I often find that if we think that movement is too easy, we are not engaging our muscles properly. So that's what I want us to focus on is that engagement. We got reverse lunges, three second hold, three, two, one. So we're stepping back, one, two, three. Making sure our knee is staying off the ground. It's a lot easier if our knee is on the ground because that means we're not holding our body weight up. So we're coming down, one, two, three. Push through that heel big toe little toe. So again, making sure as we step back, knee over the second toe, step back a little bit more. And keeping that chest forward, one, two, three. Heel big toe little toe, driving through the glutes. Push the ground away. Man. Great job. Keep holding for three seconds. Three, two, one. All right. We are ready for some. Oh, I almost went to dead bugs. We got around the world raises first. I feel like I'm always forgetting something every time. Three, two, one. Coming all the way up over and around. Hands slightly in front. Also making sure if we're coming up to the top and our back is like this, one of two things, either the weight is too heavy or our shoulder mobility is not where it needs to be. So if it is the first one, just drop that weight. If you're still doing it with a lighter weight, let me know and we can uh, talk through some mobility exercises, stability exercises for the shoulders. Great job, pulling the weight up, use those shoulders. Again, focus on the intent of the movement. Three, two, one. All right, now we have dead bugs. So we're gonna sit down on the ground, getting ready for dead bugs. Three, two, one. So arms straight overhead, coming back. So we exhale as. We zip the core up. Another thing that's gonna keep that core engaged is keeping those knees out. If we have them in too far, we're not gonna use the core. They are not as engaged. Keep that belly button pressed into the ground. Focus, mind to muscle connection, really pulling with the core. Great job, keep pushing, doing great today. Three, two, one, all right. We are ready for our shoulder presses, starting at the top. I'm gonna keep this weight. We're doing great today, got a nice shoulder burner here. Three, two, one. Might need to rethink the workout for later today after what we've done this morning, but those reverse lunges are actually not going anywhere. So giving you a little preview of what is to come during exercise with exos. Definitely gonna be working the arms and legs so later again. So getting a nice total body day in, being aware Right now with that core being engaged, trying to stay upright, avoiding that lean. So stay tight, three, two, one. All right, awesome job. We got glute bridges for a second hold at the um, top, almost at the bottom. But we're gonna hold at the bottom. We're just gonna lay here, three, two, one, so that core is engaged, pushing through heel big to little toe. We got four seconds at the top, keeping those glutes squeezed. So again, if you're not sure, feel free to just place your hands on your glutes. Make sure that you are using your glutes to push up. So it's really easy, just like with the IYTs, to um, use other muscles to get to where we need to be or to perform the movement. 
And that's great, but we're also not getting the most out of the movement. So I would prefer slow moving movements here, focusing on moving our body with those muscles. Three, two, one. All right. Standing up, we got IYTs bent over. Same thing though, going nice and slow, focusing on the intent. Three, two, one. So this movement, the intention, right, is gonna be moving with the shoulders. So if we're just sitting here and I'm going like this, right? Like I didn't feel any of those movements in my shoulders, right? But if we're here, we're locked in, we're going nice and slow, squeezing through our shoulder muscles, driving our thumbs towards the ceiling. Again, moving with intent. So focusing on those muscles, nice and slow. Like I'm definitely getting a better workout doing this than I would be if I was just swinging around these five pound dumbbells here. Great job, three, two, one. That's also why in these classes too, I do always move a little bit slower. I always choose lighter weights because um, I want to make sure that uh, we're going nice and slow. Three, two, one. The other part of that is also that um, I did already work out today. Granted, I did not lift, but not want to be sore for my other workouts. Y'all are also going to see a lot more of me coming up soon. So again, got to focus on that recovery. I think I do talk about that a lot, but you know, you got to listen to the body, go with how it's feeling. If you're not feeling 100%, might be a good day for some rest or some recovery movements, maybe some yoga, things like that. So always incorporating that into our workout routine. Three, two, one. All right. Around the world raises, then dead bugs, then we're gonna cool down. We're gonna be good to go. We're gonna do some bretzel for our cool down today. Get some rotation, open up our back. Three, two, one one but also open up our hips stretch out those quads i know those reverse lunges can also be a little hard on the quads we're also gonna be doing a little bit of quad work later so lots of um insight into what we're doing at 12 today but i think i might need to change some of those uh shoulder movements out but we'll, we'll see we'll see how we feel keeping that core tight Using the shoulders. Great job. We only got dead bugs after this. Three, two, one. All right. Dead bugs. And then we're done. Getting ready. Three, two, one. So keeping that. Pelvis tucked to butt to belly button. Press the belly button into the ground. Only going as low as we can while still using our core and keeping that back on the ground. So what I mean by that is if you get to here and your back is up, oh my goodness, that hurts. Okay, if you're there and your back is arched, that's as far as you go down and then you come back up. But if you can come all the way down, we're working within our range of motion where we still have good form, we're still moving. Our legs have the string attached to our zipper. Great job. Finish strong here. Three, two, one. All right, that is it for the circuit for this morning. Go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna go ahead, like I said, we're gonna just do some pretzels. So we're gonna make our way onto our side. So if you didn't get up, just roll over onto your side those dead bugs and we're going to take our top leg coming up over and across knee and ankle on the ground bottom hand on top of the knee top hand grabs on the bottom for our ankle we're going to inhale to prepare and we're going to exhale opening up that top shoulder towards the ground so nice deep breaths into the belly here 
Like I said, we're stretching out our hips, our quads, and our back through the rotation. So big deep breaths. And so exhales. Breathing into the tight areas and feeling our body relax. Good job. We're gonna do one more deep breath. And after that last exhale, we can gently release out of that. And we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and flip over onto the other side when we're ready. And we have the same checklist on this side as well. So our top leg is gonna come up over and across, bottom hand on top of the knee. Top hand is gonna grab onto the bottom foot or ankle. We're gonna to inhale to prepare. And we're gonna exhale, bringing that top shoulder down towards the ground. So you might notice maybe this side is a little bit tighter than the other side. So making those mental notes so you can focus maybe some stretching on that later, or if you go to the stretch break today, you can request extra of that area that's bothering you or a little bit tight today. Nice big inhales into the belly, in through the nose. And nice long, slow exhales through the mouth. So making those exhales longer than the inhales, calming our heart rate down, calming our body down, getting us ready to go eat some breakfast and then get um, on to the day. One more deep breath. And as we exhale, when we're ready, we can gently come out of that stretch and feel free to stay laying on the ground, take a nap if you'd like. But that is gonna be all the time we have for today's total body strength. So what a nice job, nice job. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, definitely did a lot of shoulders today, but um, that was a good one. So. Do have all of our regular classes coming up. Um, if you're not sure what other classes you want to try out, feel free to try out some on-demand classes on YouTube. Um, you can check out our um, SharePoint site for all of our class schedule. And um, we do have Sign to Run coming up. We also have Peach Invitational coming up. So definitely um, find out more again on SharePoint. And then um, we do also have um, some exciting programs and everything coming up. So we're sticking around. We're going to be here. So um, you know, let me know if you have any questions, schedule consult if you um, want to figure some things out with your fitness. Um, but thank you again. Have a great day and I'll see y'all later.